Class of 2007, this is Dustin Caldwell. I'm sorry I couldn't be at our awesome, super cool reunion. Hey, this is Dustin Caldwell. I am just swamped with paperwork here at the mayor's office. My wife and I booked these tickets to Fiji and it is just too late to cancel. I've got this new job as an assistant, and let me tell you, Steve Harvey hates it when he doesn't get his coffee. I just had a baby, and uh, I just, I, I gotta stay home. I, I gotta make sure the little guy doesn't die. It is tough to travel anywhere when your Maserati's in the shop. My doctor told me not to travel after the operation. You can do this. You can... Yeah. This is nothing, it's just it's just like a 10-15 second video. Hi, how are you? My name's Dustin. Some of you may remember me. My life was a living hell in high school. <laughs> Don't think about those things, man. It's in the past. It's in the past. Don't... You're making this harder than it really is. The city of Austin is like a giant bong <laughs> with a with a fat bowl loaded with opportunity. <laughs> Never heard of it uh, explained that or described that way before. Yeah, well, you know, I can't even leave out the live music. I mean, there's a lot of live music here. Uh, I mean, I could go to a place, get something to eat. There'd be some dudes there playing music, providing a soundtrack for me to kind of, you know, stuff my face while I'm totally baked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not Austin? Why not Austin? It's better than Portland. <laughs> As we stress over our efforts in improving our way of life, we often realize the answer was easier than we made it out to be. Oh my god. Oh my god. 2021. We're here, you guys. We're here. 2021. It's going to be so great. So great. Oh, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe this. There's so much change going on, you know, like uh, for when we have this new president and supposedly this new president is going to be doing a lot of new things and the best part of it all, none of it has to do with Twitter. Use the Fallon approach. Embrace tomorrow with a relentless childlike optimism, even if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense.